Hi, my name is Mike Nuno. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing with MCS Software. Today I wanted to demonstrate for you guys the capability of the Honeywell Voyager uh, USB barcode scanner to seamlessly integrate as an extension of our point of sale system. What it's actually going to do is actually going to capture the barcodes which you would have printed up on a roster that you could print out of our system at a separate location or a location far, far enough away from the Bluetooth device. What this scanner will actually do, it will actually store those barcode numbers uh, within the memory of the scanner. Once the scanner is actually brought to uh, a certain area, um, a proximity of the cradle, it will actually automatically pull those numbers in to our point of sale system, thereby providing you uh, an accurate way to account for the children that you've scanned for that particular day. Once the information is in our point of sale system, there's multiple uses uh, that you, you could actually do with, the, with that information, such as making payments on a child account or just ringing them up for a reimbursable meal or any extra sales that they may have purchased at that time. So to begin our demonstration, the first thing I want to do is we're going to actually walk away from the cradle here, which is located next to my machine, and we're going to take this barcode roster here and show you how quick it is to actually scan these, these children's identification numbers in. And then what we'll do is we'll actually come back for the second portion of the demonstration, show you how it actually uploads those numbers into our system. Uh, it's just a quick way um, for you guys to actually gather the information that you're looking for without having to go with a full on point of sale system. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, cut and just go ahead and cut it. Okay, so what we're actually doing here is, is in order to enable the device um, so that it's ready for input, what we're going to do is we're actually going to start a meal just like we would with a normal point of sale system. So we're going to start our meal launch here. Go ahead and I'm just running from main machine which is what you would be doing from a, a central manager's machine or a back office machine. Then we'll go ahead and type in our username and password. What this is doing is actually uh, sending all the, the latest information out to the point of sale line such as statuses, um, any balances that you, you may have um, changed or have been imported from our online payment system if you are utilizing that as well. Okay, so once I click OK, it starts my point of sale line. At this point, I can actually, uh, the next thing I want to do here is I'm going to actually select the most commonly sold item, which would be just a reimbursable lunch or breakfast, whatever you, you uh, are planning to serve um, as, as the same type of item that you're going to be getting reimbursed for. What it's going to do is it's going to, we're actually going to show two different scenarios here. One is, is auto sell and one is fast sell. Um, and what it does is it automatically sells that most commonly sold item. Um, it can either automatically sell and not give the option to, um, to ask for any other uh, uh, items or make any payments or anything, which is called the fast sell. Or we can do the auto sell version, which is actually um, going to sell the item without actually completing the sale, and it'll allow you to actually add money to a child's balance or sell additional items if you have additional items that you would like to sell as well. So we'll go ahead and click OK here. Now what you'll see is you're going to see this actual what we call the red pin pad screen letting you know that the device is active, it's running, it's ready to, to actually use at this point in time. So now we're going to go ahead and step away from this location and when we come back we'll actually show you how to scan them in from a separate location and then we'll actually walk back in and show you how it actually uploads the numbers into our system. Okay. We're actually at a separate location now, which is out of the range of the Bluetooth device, uh, which is used to communicate with the, uh, the cradle, which is hooked up to the, the machine that we're actually running point of sale from. So what we're actually going to do is scan these barcodes here, and the scanner actually has built-in memory that will allow it to store these numbers. Now, depending on the device you, you purchase, you can have more storage. Some store from anywhere from 250 to, I think, up to 1,000 numbers at a time. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to act like we're in a separate location or we've moved into the cafeteria, whatever it may be, but we're out of range of our, our point of sale system or we're out of the range of the cradle now. So we just take our rosters, uh, such as one that I have here. We have some other rosters that look a little different, a little nicer. This is just one that was easy for the demonstration. So what I'll go, do is go ahead and I'm going to start scanning them. 
and you can actually see how fast it is. As I press the button, it's scanning those kids' numbers in. Okay, we'll get a couple of them in here, stored into the device. Okay, now that they're stored in the device, what we're going to do is we're actually going to walk up to uh, the location where the cradle is located. Once we get to that location, we'll begin the video again showing you how it's actually going to sync up with the point of sale system and bring the numbers. Okay, as I'm walking close to the cradle here, you'll see that the scanner will actually automatically start pulling the numbers in. and You can hear it beeping every time it's registering another number. Okay. Once all those numbers are registered, the process is simple from this point. You're basically going to sell the student the meal that they purchased, or if they didn't purchase a meal and they wanted to just make a payment either way, um, you can do everything that you need to do from this screen here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click OK on my first student. Now the way I have this set up uh, currently is what we call auto sell. You'll, know that it, you'll notice that it automatically sold the item that we talked about when the, the original prompt came up. So it's automatically selling them a lunch item. Now, this works great especially for elementary schools where you're selling, constantly selling uh, reimbursable meals and not a whole lot of extra sales. Where it gets uh, a little hairy is, is when you get to high schools, uh, you may have some additional items uh, that you'll need to sell as well. Um, but either way, you can come in here and sell those additional items or Let's say the student was free and they wanted to make a, uh, a payment on their account at the same time that they purchased their item. Then I would simply just come in here, go ahead and put $20 in, hit the enter button, and it's going to go ahead and automatically put that payment onto their account. The message you're seeing here is just a, a simple warning message saying that it's a large payment, which is a, a, an actual setting within the system that you can set. Okay. Now, uh, now that I've clicked out of that student, I'm ready. the next student is already loaded up, ready to go. Well, if they only bought a reimbursable lunch and nothing else needs to happen, I can simply click OK. Now, okay. now we've got our next student here. We'll simply click OK, and we're done. Next, enter, we're done. Okay. And this is basically the auto sell portion of the software. Again, as I was saying before, if a student didn't want to purchase a reimbursable meal, they just wanted to make a payment, we can do that as well uh, by simply um, clicking the OK button here and voiding that item off, and then we'll just put in what they actually got as a payment. Or the easiest way is to press the payment only key, which actually automatically voids that, that item that we already sold, and then it allows us to put a payment in, whatever it may be. So we'll say $25. And again, this is our large payment amount. Now we're ready for our next student. Okay, uh, the next portion of our demonstration is actually going to show you what uh, a fast sell is versus an auto sell. So we'll go ahead and, and load up a second line and we'll get back with you in, in one minute. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, last portion of our demo, which is showing you uh, the, the functionality of the fast sell which is it's automatically going to sell a meal and move on to the next student. This is, uh, again, this is ideal in, in uh, elementary sites. Um, and what it's going to do is as soon as we click the uh, enter button, it's going to load up the next student uh, that's available in the queue for us. So we'll go ahead, hit enter. Warning, the sale will require charging. It just means this child doesn't have any money. And if you want to proceed, you can. Okay. And we'll hit enter again. You'll notice that we've got our uh, allergies come up. We're going to hit enter enter, 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 and as we're hitting enter, it's automatically selling those reimbursable meals for us, um, depending on the, the child's status as well as their balance. So if they're free, obviously, uh, it's not going to charge them anything for that first meal, and then as well, if they're a paying student and they have money in their account, it's just going to automatically go ahead and sell them a meal. Okay, and uh, this is the end of our demonstration, so if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.